somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight personally i am super excited because we are taking a look at guy ritchie's the gentleman from 2019 this movie has an absolutely loaded cast i have been waiting to see this one forever i'm Ooh. super excited i can't wait to watch it with you guys man look at that poster that we got up there in the background i mean you see colin farrell matthew mcconaughey hugh grant I mean, this looks like an amazing cast. I mean, directed and the screenplay, both by Guy Ritchie. Can't you know, go. I'm definitely ready. I'm definitely willing, <laughs> and I'm definitely able to watch this with the bros. You know, I, I, I got to be honest. I vaguely remember the trailer coming out for this, and it's a heavy hitting cast. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. You know, it was before we started doing reactions. Uh, for as much as I was in the theater, this isn't one that I caught. So. Uh, I, uh, d again, don't know really much about what the movie is based on, but with a cast like that, I'm pumped up and ready to roll. I'm ready for this one. Hopefully you guys are too. So without further ado, let's go! Have a pint and a pickled egg. Oh. <laughs> Cumberland Gap by David Rawlings. <laughs> Ugh. It's not enough to act like a king. Every time I hear his voice narrating like this, I just think of the Lincoln, Lincoln. commercials. <laughs> Nine o'clock, you and I, River Cafe. Who's there? Roz, who's there? <gasps> what? Will we lose Mc that's all McConaughey's in there for? I, I hope not. This has got to be like... The story's gonna go backwards. Oh yeah, and good. what's oh. gonna lead up to okay, that? Okay, I'll relax a little bit now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's why they have them right there. Top the building. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's oh. the only thing I can think. Yeah. Unless it was some oh. sort of like hypothetical dream sequence. Yeah. All right, that boy, Jack Teller Hunnam? himself, Charlie Hunnam. Yeah. Anything? <laughs> Buenos tardes, Ramundo. <laughs> <laughs> I should stop you with that. Fucking rolling pin. I've got a meeting on Saturday, your favorite newspaper. They are ready to put 150 grand in my pocket. Good for me, that. It's bad for you. So Big Dave has developed a terrible antidote kind of for backwards? your boss and his licorice assortment of tasty mates. <laughs> what? We just went from 150,000 pounds to 20 million. Is nothing compared to what I could and perhaps should be asking. I'm going to tell you a story, demonstrate why my quote is my quote. I want you to imagine a character, a dramatic character, like in a book or a play or a film. Old school, 35 mil. Ah, oh, some classic oh, Guy Ritchie stuff right this here. This is cool. Enter our protagonist. Golden age, he's a proper handsome. <laughs> His name <laughs> is Mickey Piss. American born, Rhodes Scholar, but he never finished his education, never went home because he found his vocation. He's a bad boy. Ooh. He starts dealing the dirty wonderweed <laughs> to his rich British upper class uni pals. Powerful and ruthless, charismatic and smart, he had to do some naughty things to get where he got to establish his position, to show he wasn't just teeth, tits, and tan. He had an engine under his hood and a gun. He has reached a crossroads in his life, wants to cash in his chips and get out of the game. Now, Mickey has been cultivating a special relationship with the erudite, learned, and broad-minded Matthew Berger. Erudite? Finally, to Matthew Berger, uh, blindsiding us with his donation to build the entire cognitive behavioral therapy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wing. <laughs> Well, that was unexpected. Now I understand why you're seated at the head of the table. Snuck that one right by me, didn't you, naughty little girl? <laughs> <laughs> for every look, there is a season, and for every season, a strategy. They're not really talking about clothes, Raymond. <laughs> oh, fucking no. Yeah. <laughs> the dialogue in this is so good. So what do you think? He's a fox. And foxes have a predictable nature. You let him in the hen house, you can expect blood and feathers everywhere. These two are starting to like each other. How does anyone grow 50 tons of super skunk without letting anyone else know how they do it? 200 million gross PA, 100 million net. Bottom line is, I'll sell it to you for 400 million. What would it be worth to have the power to be able to pull the plug on an operation like that? A greedy man would want half the sale price, but a smart man 
would know that £20 million was just about uncomfortable enough to make everyone feel comfortable. You're a cunning and creative toad, aren't you, Fletcher? <laughs> it was Big Dave. Mickey Pierce. <laughs> the odious Yankee gangster we're going to bury. Because it seems he's got himself a new friend. Lord Pressfield. Apparently, Mickey Pierce has squeaked his way into the crack of his fat, posh ass. <laughs> <laughs> so just make absolutely sure the check doesn't disappoint this time. The number is 150000. You've got to look after number one. And now's my turn. So why has Big Dave got it in for my boss? Your man Mickey made my man Dave feel like a right f***ing idiot. Dave, belly print. Yes. It would appear that his lordship had had a quick spin on one of his attractive young footmen. Oops. Who's been a naughty duke? <laughs> your Mickey, he's got a fabulous set of balls. Men. Excuse us. Well, he might just as well have pulled Dave's cock off. Do you believe he's going to cock off Dave? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to make his blood. You're a filthy fantasist. How does he grow 50 tonnes of White Widow super cheese every year? You can't just dig a hole in the ground and drop 200 shipping containers in there. Problem with land in this country is there's not much of it. And the public have rights. Mm. Dog walkers. Nope. Yes, y'all gone. Bimblers, ramblers, badger lovers, forums, meetings. Social media. And then there's the helicopters, drones, and that's before you even think about getting power in here. Ah, you old generators. Mm -hmm. You have to understand a culture to understand a man. Houses to keep, damp to keep out, silver to polish. And every time you inherit a fortune, you lose half to the state. So this is my moment to swoop in and offer my services so they can keep their houses in order. It's good to get a lord, yes, but it's not easy. 1,000 of these estates in the great UK. If it's as discreet and as lucrative as you claim it is, I'll buy the whole business. Go on the great lengths to make my operation as invisible as possible, Matthew. Oh, are they gonna go underground in this shipping be. container? Yeah, I bet that's gonna lead right down into it, I bet ya. Delightful tool shed for $400 million. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, chaps. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. That's a lot. Ooh. <laughs> Those are some nails. <laughs> so you're buying the substructure for the superstructure to come. The finest botanist and herb sommeliers in the world. And when this little piggy goes to the legal market <laughs> and the demand way outpaces the supply, these locations, these green-fingered botanical boys, as well as my superior technology, will be at a premium, and you can own them all. A point. Didn't mm -hmm. think of it that way. Yep. You and I both know that four hundred million is a fair to generous asking price. It's going to be worth somewhere between two hundred billion and half a trillion pounds. Oof, that's it. Annually. Ooh. <laughs> If it's such a fat wedge, why don't you keep it? You could say that there's blood on these pretty white hands. Once legal and under the jurisdiction of the... An enterprise like this will need a face with a clean past, which, sadly, I do not possess. No, mm. oh, he's got a good problem. Yeah. Um, I need your European connections. Well, that comes later, Matthew. When the money is in escrow. Oh, so let's nice. cut instead to a somewhat anticlimactic Chinese James Bond. I quoted you for a 20 when it's a 40 footer. D d d double bubble. <laughs> a gentleman's quote is a gentleman's word. Now, either you or your family are going to have to pay for that lesson. Do we have an understanding? I would say yes. Don't. <laughs> I find that confusing. Do you mean don't smoke or don't think? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rob. George, get down there and earn your money. Gone. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> Looks like the deal's going through. Look, I don't want you knocking around here feeling all unemployed and lost for yourself. Most wives would beg their other halves to get out of this game, but not you. That's because I know you, darling. If word spreads that you're getting out, that could read as weakness. Mm. So you're going to have to stamp that out without any gentrification. Why are you wasting our time? What I fail to recognise is why Michael should be motivated to write you a cheque for 20 million. As they say in a film yeah. game, I'm laying pipe. <laughs> You've got to show me how to get one of them. Well, you can take it with you if you fuck off now. <laughs> <laughs> got a bit of Wagyu in the freezer as it happens. Oh, I never had Wagyu. <laughs> I'll get it, mate. Oh, no. You're all right. Just stay right there. He's a sly fox, that Fletcher. Oh, Oh, oh hey. A head. Oh, or a whole body. body. No, 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 it's not. Oh, Aslan. You watching Narnia? So how much? I mean, with your husband. Oh, 
Sure. That's in his interest. Keep the parts. Consider a gesture of goodwill. By the dragon head himself, Lord George. Big man prans behind Lord George's back. Because everyone knows that the way to a man's heart is through his wife. You'd make a lovely wife, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Grant has just been crushing this the first 20 minutes, whatever it's been. What's your sense is best? I only took this meeting because Raz asked me to make sure to never approach her like that again. I meant no disrespect. I understand you're getting out. We got a what? I hear you're getting out of the game. And I would like you... Look, let me stop you right there. And this is not a discussion for the two of us. Huh? This is a big number. Gosh. I am not for sale. You're forgetting the laws of the jungle looking down on me. And when the silverback's got more silver than back, you best move on. This is a big fucking number. Oh, this is a big gun. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. You looking for your balls or a hole in the wall? Talking to me about the laws of the jungle. Boy, when McConaughey flips it, mm -hmm. it's just. Wow. Long Fletcher. Whoa. Oh, I know. It's what a, a turn. Fun. No, I'll just say that he said that's how he works. But, huh? Oh, because this oh, is his story. The story that really yeah. happened. Here lies the island. There once was a young and foolish dragon who came to ask a wise and cunning lion about acquiring his territory. And the lion, he wasn't interested, so he told the little dragon to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon couldn't understand. <laughs> and continued to ask the lion about acquiring his territory. So the lion took the little dragon for a walk and put five bullets in his little dragon head. Now, allegedly, there's a message in there. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, there's a story. Oh, I bet Mickey was pleased he took that meeting, wasn't he? <laughs> yes, it went very well. Didn't Mickey get a rat infestation at one of his farms? <laughs> Why do they have gold go, 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 go. on? I don't know why they are. Said they'd be a bit of puff. Yeah, they weren't joking. Do you know who owns this gap? Who are these jokers? <laughs> 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 they just keep <laughs> coming. Teddy bears, picnic. Oh, oh, there's Colin Farrell. Oh, there we go. You got your mouthwash muddled up with cat piss. Q, you're not puff. Yeah. You're not puff. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if you're gonna stab, stab trigger. Come on, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Now make it quick. Fuck you! Jeez, that's disappointing. Oh, no, no. <laughs> this is great. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> Get back to where? You are embarrassing yourself here, lads. Now, wake up, lads. Life's quick. You're slow. Come on down to the gym. We'll see what we can do with you. <laughs> are you the coach? Coach is Ernie. Ernie, what is it? We've landed a load of sticky bush. Walk away. It's too late. We're at the gym now. I'm loading the van. You took my van. Wait there. Ooh. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Holding the floor with the toddlers. Don't know what you thought by the end of the night. You're picking up the jaw. Man, don't want that smoke. Big elbow to the top of the dog. Uh-oh. Th th this is not going to... I don't think this is going to end well from it. I don't think Colin is too happy about no. it either. Why are we watching fight porn, right? <laughs> it's fight porn. It's one of my farms. Is that what I think it is? It's white top coach. The hits. Take it down. Do we ever train them? That's what he's doing. Thank you. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, quit saying. <laughs> quit saying. <laughs> Who'd be smart enough to find one of Mickey's farms? And who would be bold enough to make such a move? I hear you might have had a little trouble. No trouble over here, Matthew. No trouble at all. So we brought you a token. What might this be? It's a paperweight. Or it looks like a gun. <laughs> They're illegal. So it's riding your bicycle at night without lights. In France, it's illegal to call a pig Napoleon. Just try and stop me. <laughs> Just try and stop me. Oh, man. Should I be scared? I don't think so. Shut this farm down and make it disappear. I'm not going to pretend that missing out on a million pounds commission a year isn't going to hurt someone. It's funny, really, but it couldn't be worse timing. I've just learned we need a whole new roof, apparently. Ooh, oh, that would. Yeah. For the, oh my God. Not cheap. So it needs a new oh. roof, so we're going to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> now he's going to, I'm sure Mickey will take care of him. Let me take care of the roof. 
This is how Big Dave is going to bring Mickey down, Lord Pressfield's much beloved child. The famous and talented Laura, all self hate and arm, has fallen for this power Noel smacked out dark charm, and I want a lot of them. We miss her terribly, Mickey. Mustn't blame yourselves. It sounds as though Laura fell in with the wrong crowd. You mind if I look into it? So you'll help us? You remember the daughter? Yeah, Laura. Nice girl, good voice. They've asked us to find her, bring her home. I know where she is, and I don't like it. I'd rather we didn't get involved. It's too many moving parts, parts that we can't control. I mean, what if she doesn't want to come? It's going to get messy. But can't you send Fraser instead? No, I can't send Fraser instead. You're my best man. I want you. Just, I don't like smackies. <laughs> smackies. <laughs> smackies. <laughs> Buenos dias. My name is Raymond Smith. How can I help you, officer? Just need a moment of your time. It's about Laura Pressfield. No, fuck off. Uh, I think you're gonna regret that. He doesn't. He doesn't like smackies. Hey, my man's got the deadies and the boot cuts, you know. <laughs> For some reason, I want a breaching tool now. <laughs> After seeing that, <laughs> who doesn't want a breaching tool? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like how they come in like super calm, you know, like that's how you know they mean business. We will be gone in a few moments. I can be dangerous if I want to be. Get the fuck out now. Sit down, Power. Oh, well. How do you know my name? I know all your names. I know where you went to school. I know who your parents are. Now sit. <laughs> <laughs> look at look, there's a, like a there's photo a of a dog behind. Back. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I work for a man. Michael Pearson. Ten points to you, Laura. Friend of her father's. Runs London's buff game. What is your name, young man? Oslan. <gasps> what do you say to the guy in the freezer? Yeah. Your father's asked us to bring you home. She's not going anywhere. Do you mind if I sit? Yes. Uh, These guys have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> I like a good old fashioned 50 50 mix, mate. There's one thing I will never understand is why you lot get addicted to heroin. Do you ever give it a spin, bunny? No, not me, Ray. I don't even puff anymore. Of course not. Bunny likes the gym. What are you benching these days? Three wheels aside. <laughs> what about you, Brown? What could I lift? Couldn't lift a wheel of cheese, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Laura. Queen in this here kingdom of shit. Are you ready to turn the corner? Do your mum and dad a favor and try the impossible. Make yourself happy. All right. All right, fantastic. Don't go, please, wait! Ooh, no backhand again. It's all right, Bunny, keep going. Keep the kids in school for one minute. What a pop and paste that. My man just pulled out a donkey toy. Buy yourself a sticky book. No, no, no. Oh, what is Oh. Oh. That is a naughty kettle, bro. Fucking eat you, bro. Oh. oh. Sorry for the interruption. What do you need, Ray? Oh, does she look rough. Mm -hmm. He can read his face. My associates had an accident. He fell out of a window, boss. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm loving the music behind that. Yeah. Oh. So you killed some. No. Healthy. <laughs> There was gravity. A gravity. Oh, a few. A few. Nothing was recorded. Buddy. That's <laughs> <laughs> nice, idea. Can't be fooled by all those junkies dress. They went to schools. Expensive schools. Their parents have money. Money could be a problem. You're fishing, Fletcher. I am fishing. I'm fishing in my little bag. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he touches the burner again. <laughs> Is he looking for something on the floor? <laughs> but we're gonna need oh. those phones. <laughs> Clean up. Oh, oh he was out there. there. Camera. Mm -hmm. I gotta be honest, guys. I couldn't chase a, a young twenty-something <laughs> kid down these days. Wearing his dress shoes and slacks. Uh, yeah, not so much. Bro, this guy's trying to take my phone. What fucking dude? Fuck yeah. up, you know. I'm sure you're all roared, man. Gangsters. <laughs> proper naughty boys. <laughs> proper <laughs> naughty, naughty boys. boys. I'm not trying to steal it. I'm trying to buy it. Honest money. What this phone? Full bag. How about you give us that bag and be gone anyway? Give me the phone and take the money. Run, boy. <laughs> Put the phone on the ground. <laughs> 
<laughs> Should have done it the easy way. You could have, yeah, you could have made a full bag. Yep. Whatever that means. Hey, can I use your toilet? Fletcher, shoes off inside. Yes, mummy. <laughs> oh, no. Is he going to catch a car door? Uh, yeah. Sure it is. You just knew with that shot it was mm. coming. Well, you knew they were going to get him. I was yeah. just wondering how. Foam. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> is there a problem here, Ray? There's <laughs> no problem here, Fletcher. I see no problem at all. I forgot to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I got so much bush gone missing and nobody know nothing. But you know what? There is this geezer called Mickey Pearson. Who the fuck is Mickey Pearson? Ah, uh, you know him. All right, you know where to find me, Chazza. Keep your hair to the ground. Did you get that Chinese fella's name? Fuck. Where does he live? Posh Park Croydon. There is no Posh Park Croydon. Fan Art, he's weed we took. Just tell me his name isn't Mickey Pearson. Mickey Pearson is terrible news in the face of a violent and expensive day. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Oh. Even Coach knows. Well, I'm assuming that anybody that knows or does anything knows yeah. Mickey. Feel free to talk. I gather you're the conciliarity of the outfit that my boys were stupid enough to fuck around with. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I'd like to extend my apologies. My boys, they're naive. My responsibility. So it's me that should be accountable for their actions. Now, I can return your goods, but I can't return the inconvenience. And so I offer you... My loyalty, my time, till that debt is settled. Just leave me lads alone. I'm gonna need to know how your lads got the information about where our farm was sited. Cause that's not common knowledge. Then we can talk. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shipping container out in the middle of nowhere. His name is Fahok. We're spelled with a pre-h, so it's not <laughs> <like> Fahok. Fahok. <laughs> <laughs> He's the kid that gave us the skunk farm job. Oh, he was with uh, the little dragon. Yeah. <gasps> how did you know the location? I need my hater. I've been training you for months. I can't breathe. All right, for hug, Kanda, for hug. <laughs> Down. <laughs> See ya. Oh! Oh! You need to invest in some parachutes. Parachutes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this jumping fuck boy in here? <laughs> dry eyes, man. You mean Lord George's man? <laughs> Could just be dry eyes, dude. It's been getting bold lately. Well, they still all work for Lord George. Oh, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there's not a blooper reel, but it'd be freaking fantastic. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. These guys oh. are pros. Do you think they mess up? <laughs> of course. You, oh, it gosh. doesn't matter how much pro. You're yeah. going to have little missteps, but yeah. Lord George? And to what do I owe? What you watching? <laughs> <laughs> Racing is definitely not your own advice, your lordship. There is a difference. I facilitate. I don't participate in any of the aforementioned devices. What about tea? All that too is vice. Sweet Mary Jane is my vice of choice, as you well know. Of course, I'm addicted to selling it, not consuming it. Shifting the white or the brown powder, as you so chose. You see, my jam, it, it doesn't kill anyone. Or your poison. The destroyer of worlds. Oh no, oh no, it's... Your facilitation is most definitely participation. She looks terrible. Oh. Whoa! You're oh. starting a war with me, George. You send your man dry eye around my place to see if he can buy my business for a few beans. Having me followed for months. Ugh. Oof. That comes with a price. <laughs> We raided one of my locations. You raided one of my locations? What the fuck were you thinking? <sighs> wow, what an intense buildup. Should you try and undermine me, or should you attempt to threaten my position again, I will be forced to accept your call to arms. Do you understand? I can see you're feeling somewhat under the weather. I spiked your tea with a nasty little parasitic genus called Shigella. I suggest taking two of these fizzy biscuits. We'll be fine in an hour or two. I can get to you in your own kitchen. I can get to you anywhere. <sighs> wow, that was wow. intense. Holy oh, shit. Did you raid Mickey Pearson's farm? 
No. So you're telling me that Fook did this behind your back? He didn't do it in front of it, but you did go behind my back and offered to buy his business. Oh boy. Yeah, I did. There comes a point where the young succeed the old. I uh, remember you tried doing that. Yeah. Tried doing that with, uh, with Mickey. Mickey. Someone killed Lord George. Oh. oh. Does that arouse your interest, Raymond? Perhaps they were just meeting up to talk about holidaying in the Maldives. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite something, isn't he? He's not your average American. Try and get it in time with his lips, all right? Roll camera. I <laughs> <laughs> dang. Oh, <laughs> Holy, that's a serious lens. Yeah. Wow. Usually only see that there like on the sidelines at NFL games, not up in a booth. There was an incident. Lord George didn't come through it. Last thing you need to do is attract any octopus. Octopus. <laughs> His translation goes completely out the windows. So I'm gonna say this in English and I'm gonna say it once. So listen to me, Rupert Stein. I'm gonna back the fuck off and I'm gonna take it all. And there you have it. That's all I've got. Sorry. They're not just Mahjong partners, are they? Mahjong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> According to you, we already know Matthew wants to buy Michael out. I am approaching my climax. I trust you will make Michael Pearson pay for this. You are the dragon head now. Solidify your position. You'll be done, Uncle. Now that he's oh, Billy Big Is that how the movie started? Yeah, is that where be. this is going? I think that's where we're leaving. Yeah, because that's where he's got this suit on. Yep, and he's going in the pub. Hello, Ross. It's date night tonight. Nine o'clock. I'll be there. We're close. Hang on. Who's there? Roz, who's there? Oh. oh. You didn't even know that Lord George was dead yet. Hello, dry eye. What do you want? Oh, she's got the Fancy paperweight. What? I knew it. Oh, he had his no, back. I'm not exactly sure what happened next because you two managed to give me the slip. Oh, goody. Another bottle. Good, <laughs> we didn't lose oh, it. Oh, I mean, come on. Are you going to come with me until I can resolve all these issues with your husband? Uh -huh. Oh! Whoa! What a mm. shot! Ooh! Good part. It wasn't like a clear T bone. It yeah, looks like you got the front. Got the, got the engine. Yeah. Tony, is that a paperweight? Either you do as I tell you to and use the door, or I'm going to shoot Fat Tony right between the eyes. I'm telling you, I will squeeze this trigger, and Tony will be no more. You take one step forward, it'll be the last fucking step you ever take. Tony, get on it. <laughs> well, she got him. Twenty-two might not penetrate a skull. It should. So, uh, that he distance. just doesn't. Yeah, he's yeah. just hanging around for a minute. Bye. I'm leaving. Oh, oh, no. she's quite the shot, yeah. isn't she? Oh, oh crap. Oh. oh. No. Oh, he's oh. screwed. Oh, what's he going to do to this guy? Oh, you, well, that's you. quicker than I thought. He yeah. gave him the one opportunity to tell him about the lion and the young dragon. Yep. You're too smart to be blackmailing us, Fletcher. <laughs> you can do all kinds of horrible things to me if you want. This is the news that you're asking about before. Matthew. He's going to need some people to run his business here when he buys it from Michael, right? He's going to need a reliable pair of hands, someone like you. Hmm. So why didn't he ask you, Raymond? I don't know. He already had someone earmarked for the role. He promised Dry Eye the job, but only if Dry Eye helped drive down the price of Mickey's business. Matthew, who told Dry Eye the location of Mickey's oh, farm. Oh, makes sense. Hmm. And that is why fuck got those juice swilling acne back muscle Marys to do the job. <laughs> muscle, muscle Marys, acne backed <laughs> muscle Marys. Oh, that's a good one. I gotta write that one down. Oh, killing Lord George. Yeah, figured that. Oh, jeez. Dry eye likes the smell of power and does not like Matthew. I'll tell you how this plays out. You will drown is why I want my hard-earned 20 million pounds. But I also know that the very man he's trying to sell it to 
He's trying to force him into selling it on the cheap. So, you see, I think you should be calling me your trusted consigliere. Intellectual reconnaissance, if you prefer. You certainly know more than I do. So, you've got 72 hours, and I would just reiterate that if anything happens to me, I, I do have my insurance policy in place. Strong recommendation. Just pay up. Now, out of my house, cos I'm going to bed. Can I come with you? <laughs> oh, God. TikTok. TikTok. Oh my God! Just Hugh is just but crushing. It, but if if they've got, well, he said he's got insurance, insurance policies. Yeah. It's gonna go to Big Dave. Yeah. Careful, boss. Fletcher's ass belongs to the highest bidder. It's just tickling me nuts. But he says he wants to meet Sally. <laughs> That's his ringtone. <laughs> Set the boxers. Hi, Ross. Move the van. I'm on it, boss. Spunk bubble. Get rid of the fucking van. They've all got all <laughs> pros up. I'm warning you, Russ does karate. <laughs> he obviously lied on his application. Yeah. Resume. You know what's good for you? Get in the car. Sorry, boss. I'm only a blue belt. Oh, what? We're making a YouTube movie, eh? I'm fucking powerful. We know all that. Why you tell us all about it in the back of the van? No. <laughs> 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 I'm only a blue belt. Security guy just leaves him hanging. We're all really big, Dave. You're in safe hands now. No need to panic. Whatever's going on here. I, I just need to get back to work. His clothes are folded up. <laughs> yeah, right boy. Nice. Now, I believe you're a reporter. Now, it seems for this brief moment in time, I found my way into the film business. And last night, I made a film with an <laughs> film, film. sized farmyard pig. <laughs> Morning, sir. Two cups of tea. Oh, he's going to bribe him. Oh. There's some wet wipes there over your shoulder. Your clothes are neatly folded there in the bench. You're going to press the space bar on this computer. Oh, no. And you're going to witness your participation. Loosen up your inhibitions, man. Oh, oh no. Just lose any interest you have in the future on Mickey Pearson. Space bar, yeah? Have a hot drink as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> space bar, yeah? <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I wonder what <laughs> bit that is. He's got it, too. Oh, oh my God. God. I mean, I was there, and I'm still shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Squidward. <laughs> Can't unsee her once you've seen it. Can't, well, you can't unsee her. It's nightmare fuel. <laughs> I train lads to be good lads. I'm not a fucking gangster. I've been forced to do some gangster things. That's okay. So with the greatest respect, I'll do this one last thing for you. And then that's it. Three strikes no mail. Well, before you said you would continue to yeah. do whatever until you paid the debt. Until the debt that was paid. But I mean, that's a pretty big. Yeah. Dave, power. Thank you for the grand tour. Now he knows, dude's trying to screw mm, him yeah. over. The situation's changed, Michael. The market's changed. Oh boy, mm. these little do you fucking know. You're asking 400 for 12 locations and a distribution network, which was a fair valuation at the time. But when one of those locations was compromised, the value of all those locations were compromised. And this obviously affects the price. And when Johnny Law starts sniffing, which he will, all of those locations will have to cease production for, I'd say, at least 12 months at a cost of 100 million net PA. Your unit economics have taken a hit. I calculate what was worth 400 million a month ago must now be valued at an anemic 130. Oh, mm. wow. <laughs> I don't think he knows how this is gonna end. And if you want me to help you out of this hole you have found yourself in, I can pay you $100 million today. And I'll do this because I'm your friend. God, this guy is, is really good at just being like pan faced. Is who tumbled the first down? That's not my concern or my business. My it is very much business. And certainly your concern. And now he's like, shit. They seem to have mistaken me for some kind of a cunt. Let me introduce you to the first domino. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who is this man? What's he got to do with anything that I'm talking about? Best not to be glib at this time in the proceedings, Matthew. 
Hmm. Don't bother looking for your Mossad crabs. This is a fish market. They have found a home. You will drown. And then my Mossad crabs. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing personal. And while I am not emotional about the money, there is a price indebted to me. It's restoring order to the untidiness that you created. And that price, according to you, 400 minus 130, is 270 million dollars. Oh. <laughs> Are you? Are getting in the freezer. He's got to buy his life. This frostbite is very expensive on the fingers and toes. After you have tended to that indiscretion, you can then deal with the next consequence of your short-sightedness. As stated, I am not emotional about the money, but I am emotional about the fact that yes. no, yes. oh fuck, yep, oh shit. I want pound of flesh. If you don't have the stomach. Take it for yourself. So this was one of the Saw movies, wasn't it? Yeah, he's gonna make him make him do it to himself penny short or a gram shy that freezer door does not open funny income oh, oh man <laughs> what's that for is that for my money where's my money raymond there's your payment thank you mysterious stranger well that's disappointing because that doesn't look like 20 million pounds your insurance policy photos all the bodies all the skeletons oh we got it all I've been on to you for a long time, Fletcher. Very similar our jobs. Only I'm better at it than you are. Oh. I also knew you couldn't resist a 1,500 pound single malt, an 80 pound wagyu steak, and a state of the art smokeless barbie. <laughs> I promise you, you will regret this if you don't hear it. Yeah, I kept you there because I needed to know about Matthew and Dry Eye. It took us a while to find your insurance policies. But it was made a lot easier after I planted a tracker in your shoe. Ah. Oh. So that's it. Three strikes. We're good, right? I'll see you around. Oh, is he in the trunk? Yeah, they put mm -hmm. him in it. Now, Fletcher, what were you saying? I got photos. He's got 30 seconds. Thank you, darling. Prime time. What is it, son? Coach, the Michael situation. We're going to sort it. Prime time, this. Now, you remember Aslan, don't you? Oh, the Russians. He's Aslan Senior. Russian oligarch. Extremely sad that his one and only son fell out of a window. How do you know all this? Because someone told them everything they want to know about Michael. For me, said I'd tell them where Michael was for a price. And then when. Oh, mm. okay. You see, get my 20 mils off Michael first, get paid again, double bubble. Why did you just look at your watch? Oh, You're going to no. get Michael when he comes out of his meeting at the fish market, and they are coming here. So you see what I've done there? I've saved your lives, which I think in turn saves mine, doesn't it? Don't fucking move. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Oh, so his boys are going to... his gonna boys are going to help him out. Help him out. Look at him oh, running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet they're going to hit the car or something. Yep, here it is. Oh! Whoa. The car rolls to a stop. Smash cut to black. Titles. I need an ending. No, 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 my darling. What you need is a sequel. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Have a read. Got a plane to catch. And I've gone. Was it? Was that guy Rich is sitting there? No, no. Oh. If it is, he looks way different than I remember. Heathrow Airport, please. Terminal 3. And then she's oh, sunny no. California. Fletch I'm on the <laughs> Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Fletcher. Is it? <laughs> so real quick at the end if that was guy richie because i i haven't seen the guy's picture in a while they had to have a ton of makeup on it if it oh, was him maybe I don't maybe think it was maybe it was a so look alike drop a comment if that indeed was guy richie at the end i don't think it was because didn't really look like him but wow maybe it was uh just a second uh, there we there go was, there was the gentleman my that was goodness amazing guy richie Start does not disappoint and wow Wow. The entire wow. cast did a fantastic job. I think Hugh Grant must have had a, a script about this thick that he had to go through. What a legend. Just fantastic. You know, everybody in this movie absolutely delivered. And, you know, when Guy Ritchie does, like, dialogue in his movies, it's 
I don't want to be over the top here, but it's like an art form, the way he does it and the way he talks and, the way, <laughs> and just, just the way he has his characters interact and the way they speak. I mean, I love British gangster movies to begin with, and to me, this one is just absolutely fantastic. It's They had the twist in the beginning and a couple of twists there at the end. We didn't know exactly how it was going to play out. Colin Farrell and his boys oh came God. through at the end, which was just incredible um i absolutely loved matthew mcconaughey's character in here he was like the movie's entitled he mm -hmm. was truly a gentleman but man when he turned on that vicious side it was incredible i want to see matthew mcconaughey as a villain like a serious villain in another movie uh pretty soon i don't think he's done it uh, to my knowledge but I'm sure there has been one or two, but what we'll have he to did look in there out. was absolutely fantastic. When he would just flip the switch in there, and you could just tell the change, it was absolutely incredible. So, you know that was that was so good, just so good. And you know, Guy Ritchie's done a lot of these movies. He kind of likes this style. I mean, sure, he's had the Sherlock and the Man from Uncle and and some of those, but you know, despite doing bridge gangster movies better than just about anybody they never get stale and they all manage to be a little bit different and this one was absolutely incredible totally worth the wait i loved it um let's see i just want to make sure i cover everything here guys because i really enjoyed this one um yeah i think that's that's pretty much it for me like i said just overall the acting top notch the dialogue you could just sit and and listen to it as you fall asleep i absolutely loved this and for me, it's not even a question. It's right in the genre that I love. Guy Ritchie's the man. Everybody delivered. Mm. Five out of five answers for me on this one. Uh, Incredible. Loved it. Uh, I loved, <laughs> like, this movie was amazing. I loved all of it. I did read the one bit of trivia is that Hugh Grant did his scenes in five days. And he had 40 pages of dialogue oh, I was gonna that say he did it in five days. But I suppose you're on the one set, you get to do it, but he was just magnificent. I think he's, he stole the show yeah. for me. He was just great. That, but then Charlie was freaking amazing because, like, it's funny. He's playing, like, kind of has the glasses and everybody. Yeah. It's like, uh, just look at him. I was like, ah, he's a badass. Yeah, it's I, I can just, it's yeah. like, yeah, no, he's a badass. Like, his, like when his glasses were falling, I was waiting for him to like do the push up just to make it seem a little <laughs> out of the ordinary. But no, and then obviously, what can you say? McConaughey is just amazing. But I loved just the dialogue, the little quick one liners, the qu calling each other. <laughs> You, the over usage of the <laughs> c word, which is which is obviously normal, and I guess in British speaking, yeah. but it, you yeah. know, definitely different from us. But it was just great. I mean, got, I mean, even the guy that played like Bunny and Lord George, yeah, they were great. Big Dave Eddie Marsan, which you know I saw him. Saw I. That's the only movie I knew him from was Fast and Furious, uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Mm. But uh, you know, it just. Just a great all around cast. That everything was just amazing. My dry board is wherever. Yeah. Dry erase board. Who cares? Yeah. You'll be able to see it. <laughs> I have to go with the five as well. And uh, it's like and the thing is like I'm not gonna nitpick it because there's nothing to nitpick. I, everything. The yeah. only the only thing I had was that like Colin said he would. Oh, I'm forever in your debt until you say it's paid. And then he's like, well, three strikes, you know. And then we're good. But then it ended up being four and everything else. And but yeah, he was he was he crushed it too in this. Just especially at the beginning, his first introduction with him just being one of those guys. He's like, just back and, then, and then he's like, you know, you don't you have potential. Come down to the gym and maybe we'll do something with you. And that's just how Colin Farrell is. A lot of movies where he has that quick, quick hitters, especially like horrible bosses. He it kind of has that quick dialogue like that in there too. So yeah, of course, easy five for me. Awesome. Yeah, this movie had everything. I mean, the the plot. You know, the twists and the turns and when you think you know what's going on and then they hit you with something new when there's this aha moments. And so the, the plot itself was really cool. Uh, an all-star cast. I mean, Matthew yeah. McConaughey, Colin Farrell, Hugh Grant, um, Charlie Hunnam. I mean, this was definitely... And even, even the people who I wasn't familiar with in the movie, um, th they were all phenomenal. Yeah. So... They really knocked it out of the park with all the actors. Um, the way the movie was shot, the the cinematography, the, the the way each scene was set up, camera angles, everything like that, the way the story went back and forth, mm -hmm. that was really brilliant. 
Um, delivery of the dialogue to me in this in this movie was spectacular. Just. I just I just really feel like everything just clicked with this movie, and it was an interesting plot to me because so normally when we when we talk about you know illegal drug empires, right? Mm -hmm. It's like it's usually mafia run or something like that, and you don't think about them retiring and selling the business. It's yeah. usually a situation where. You know, somebody else will step up. <laughs> they get asked to retire. And run the business. <laughs> and yeah, you get asked to retire. Um, so it's interesting that he's got this big empire and he's selling it as a business. Now, that being said, he's got his facilities. He's got his infrastructure, distribution channels, things like that. But the fact that he's just going to flat out like sell a, a, an illegal business um, was interesting. And I, I like the fact that they did address the issue of... Um, you know, cause right when he was talking about selling it, I thought about, you know, legalization, which, you know, it's only a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and he, he addressed that, yeah. you know, and I, so I, I thought that was neat. So they didn't just like, you know, they could have had the movie and, and not address that and it still would have been just as cool, but you know, they addressed that. So I, I thought it was a great movie. Um, uh, you, you know, the, uh, the, the, the fighters and stuff like I wasn't sure what direction that was gonna go <laughs> yeah I didn't know and they, were, they were they were a really cool like addition to this movie like when they showed up I thought you know when they when they were in the the plant at first you thought when the guys kept coming yeah. in one at one it was like they were gonna surround them <laughs> and then they flipped that around yeah. okay these guys are all fighters and things like that mm -hmm. now it looked like it was a boxing gym but if you watch the fighting it was there, were, there was definitely some MMA in there too some arm bars and and uh, it looks like some judo and stuff in there. <laughs> then the guy so gave him credit really too. Cool. He's like, no, they're really good, boss. And then, yeah, <laughs> right, that. And then they turned it into a video, which was actually a pretty cool music video. <laughs> Later on, they had their GoPros on. I mean, this this movie was just, it was really wild from, from start to finish. And, you know, when you try to like nitpick, you know, like you said, mm -hmm. we're not going to nitpick, we're going to nitpick. I don't know that you can nitpick I, this movie. No, the no plot is incredible. Yep. The acting is spotless. The, the like I said, the the line delivery, the the way everything was shot. Mm. Um, this movie was, I mean, about as flawless as I think a movie can get. I don't know what's not to love. Um, you know, I, th I think you know Matthew McConaughey. If I had to nitpick, it's like Matthew McConaughey is so Matthew McConaughey in this, right? <laughs> it's like. He's this, but he, they don't try to the make him anybody they, he's not. The only he's thing they like, missed was the all right, all right, all right. But he's that, like the it. same guy uh, in like everything, you know. Um, until he flipped the switch, we though. saw H. Yeah, he got. Oh, he, we've yeah. never seen him like nasty like yeah. that. But like uh, True Detectives on HBO, um, one of my favorite, oh, I never saw that. favorite shows. Amazing. The first season, it's like the same character in the same delivery. Answer brought up the Lincoln commercials, which yep. answer your spot on if you haven't seen Jim Carrey's Saturday Night Live <laughs> versions. Perfect. Um, uh, but, you know, so, you know, Matthew McConaughey was who he was going to be. Colin Farrell to me is just, I don't want to say he's underrated because everybody thinks he's good, but he's just so dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know, like you throw him in every role and it's like, I just love his attire. <laughs> yeah, and he's just so good. Like this British, like boxing coach and the stripes and stuff. So Irish. I'm I, Irish. I what, yeah. he, he didn't even eat or Scottish, Scottish or whatever. whatever. He, he didn't even, Scottish. Yeah, he didn't even hide his his normal accent, uh, which is which was perfect for this. But oh, and one thing I do want to say for for people. Um, that, that were a little offended by the language. So I, I was in the UK just a few months ago. I go there every now and again uh, for work. And like when, when when guys here in like America will be like, hey, you dick, like to their buddies, yeah. or hey, yeah, hey, ass, or yeah. your jerk or dick, that is the similar usage of their C word, both in the UK and in Australia as well. So some people like, look, that's a, that's a heavy word here in America. <laughs> it's it's not, not no, over no, there no. at all. No, it's it's it's, well, it's very commonly used. Let's listen to listen to one Bill Burr special. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not offensive. Yeah. So if you're watching this and like, oh hey, it's like yeah, but I I, th I think most people know I that. Think yeah. They know know it, yeah. That, like look, you you don't have to have her. They have you don't have to have ever left your couch from wherever you live in America to see on social media and stuff like that. So um, I am going to mirror the sentiments of right. Mason Quinn and the answer making this I a think one of the teen one of the few 15. movies yeah. that we've reacted to here at Bad Medicine that has gotten uh, a perfect score 
and like I said, start to finish from the very first scene to the the, the end of the movie, um, all the way through. And and I the other thing I'll, I'll wrap up with. There wasn't a dull moment throughout this no, movie. It no. didn't feel like, okay, now they're, they're developing. Okay, now it's action. Every minute of this movie had you sucked in. I thought it was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah there was nothing slow-paced about it. That, no, and you everything know, it kept... mattered. Every little detail mattered. I mean, was I this, was this one of Diamond Dave's, or was this another recommendation from... Uh, I believe didn't, I didn't think, we have a poll to maybe watch a Guy Ritchie film or something? Yeah, I don't remember how it worked out. I'd have to check with. We'd uh, have to. Dave we'd have to ask. We'd have to check with our fearless yeah. leader. But, this is, but this look, is if, awesome. if this is a recommendation or a polls, again, we're getting to sound like a broken record. But man, this was such awesome. a cool movie, and it's one of those things where it's like. Man, I can't believe I didn't see this before, but I'm glad now that I didn't, so I could watch it with you guys and watch it for the first time for the channel. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm ready to watch it again. So go ahead and hit play. Answer. <laughs> well, yeah, all right, let's get on to it. All right, patrons, we are gonna no, I'm kidding. But also Jeremy Strong, shout out to him because he was awesome. Yeah, he was after great. I thought he was yeah. awesome. Well, yeah, everybody right. did a great job. There's a reason why they were casted. So look at that. We got a perfect 15 out of 15 on <laughs> the gentleman. I hope you're enjoying it just as much as we did. So for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn. I am, of course, the answer. Good night, pals. Oh, awesome. God, that was a good one. She never disappoints. Totally worth the wait.